On campaign stops in the battleground state of Pennsylvania on Sunday, embattled U.S. President Joe Biden worked to ease mounting concerns from fellow Democrats about his candidacy. The 81-year-old has faced growing calls to end his re-election bid after a shaky debate performance against Republican Donald Trump in late June, which raised questions about his ability to do the job for another four years. Biden has vowed to stay in the race, and in a fundraising email on Saturday, he dismissed calls for him to drop out as nonsense. The Democratic president received a warm welcome at a black church in Philadelphia, and during a six-minute speech joked about his age. Folks, I know with every fiber of my being, I know I won't look like I'm 40 years old, but I've been around a little bit. Black voters are a critical part of Biden's base, but recent public opinion polling has shown their support for him waning. While there are those who want to erase history, Kamala and I want to make it. Because black history is American history. Biden later traveled to the state capital, Harrisburg, for an event with union members. Asked there if the Democratic Party was behind him, Biden told reporters yes. However, on a leadership call the same day by House Democratic leader Hakeem Jeffries, a source familiar with the discussions told Reuters that some House Democrats said that Biden should step aside as presidential candidate. House Democratic sources have said two letters are circulating among House Democrats calling for Biden to withdraw. And on Sunday, Democratic National Committee member Alan Clendenin joined calls for Biden to leave, saying, quote, this election is about the next four years, not the last three and a half. The DNC has steadfastly supported Biden since his debate stumbles, so any defections could suggest a deepening of the crisis. DNC Chair Jamie Harrison, meanwhile, said that Biden remains the party's nominee. Democrats have suggested that Vice President Kamala Harris seen as the likeliest candidate to replace Biden in the November election were he to bow out, could perform well. An election that will take Paramount and Skydance are to merge, starting a new chapter for one of Hollywood's most storied names. The two companies announced the move late on Sunday. Tycoon Shari Redstone will sell her controlling stake as part of a complex deal that will eventually result in a merger. Her family will pocket some $1.75 billion, ending an era. Late patriarch Sumner Redstone built the media empire, which includes CBS and MTV as well as the namesake Paramount Movie Studio. The deal makes Skydance founder David Ellison a new Hollywood power player. But it also lands him with a host of challenges. Paramount has shed nearly $17 billion in value since 2019. That, as its traditional TV business faded faster than streaming service Paramount Plus could turn a profit. However, the deal caps months of tortuous negotiations, complicated by the firm's complex shareholder structure. Redstone only owned a minority of Paramount shares, but a big majority of the shares with voting rights. Sources say Ellison had to sweeten an earlier offer to win her support. Um.